last trade we gave on Bitcoin down here uh, as we bounced off these lows overnight on the 24th. We were turning bullish on stocks and we thought Bitcoin as well. You can see here we had had an oversold technometer reading. We had also had volume, the OP, optimism, pessimism index, had hit new lows while price was holding at higher lows. So uh, that got us also thinking that what that shows is sell volume is coming in while somebody smarter than us, the composite man, as Wyckoff called them, was uh, holding the price up. So we did go along here at uh, 10,365 with a 9,900 stop. Now we're going to zoom in and look at that on a five minute basis. So now we're at the five minute chart showing we did, when we gave the buy 10,365, we were sitting right here and uh, stocks had just opened lower and was trying to turn higher. And you can see Bitcoin, we'd had a volume coming down here. You can see even on this little rally, volume was just staying very negative because stocks had opened lower and there was a bunch of selling coming in. So uh, that's really uh, what got us much higher here, as you can see here. So as we move forward, you can see we messed around. Stocks were going minus plus, bouncing around. And then uh, stocks turned higher. Bitcoin took off, gave us a nice trade. So at that point, we started raising our stops because that trade should have been profitable. So we brought stops up to, uh, to I think it was really around break even. And then uh, Bitcoin continued to act very well. You can see down at the bottom, bottom here, volume did come in as it had not done previous. So that made us think that we were correct. And then uh, Bitcoin continued to trade higher. Because we want to be able to show here uh, what happened. So we're going to let this run out here. You can see the normal backing and filling. Kind of look like an ABC pullback. We sprung this previous level, which uh, is normal in a bull market. Because I wanted to show you what happened is at one point was uh, obviously we had the news on BitMEX being uh, the, SEC, uh, the CFTC charging them. And then we had uh, President Trump saying he had coronavirus. Those are two things that stopped this rally and put us under pressure again. But still didn't take away from the previous you know, technical setup. Those are just news items that tried to knock Bitcoin down. So again, we're going to let this play out. So Bitcoin trading sideways, which again, we had no problem with. Now as Bitcoin continue higher, we was expecting we had called for a rally above 11.2, maybe uh, 11.4, 11.5. So once again, everything's on schedule. You can see volume at the bottom is continuing to uh, support the advance. No reason to have a problem. We start continuing to raise our stops to lower our risk, which we do. Again, everything looking good here at 10.9. We're expecting a move above 11.1, 11.2. So we're holding long for that. Our technometer readings were coming off oversold, but they were still trading around neutral. So no reason to have any issues. Things are looking well. That was BitMEX. CFTC charges BitMEX. So uh, we didn't really want to get stopped out because normally we don't trade news and we figured that we would reverse higher after uh, the BitMEX news, which I really think was bullish longer term because it keeps this space a little more regulated, doesn't allow people to do 100x leverage, etc., where they're just losing their money. So we thought we would be covered there. So we had BitMEX out of the way. Everything's looking good. And then, of course, we got Trump announcing that uh, he has coronavirus. This brings comes down to uh, our stop levels when that happens. We did have a few accounts that we managed, got stopped out, but we re-entered. 
again, because we were really bullish and looking for that 11.2. So with the BitMEX news out of the way, everything looked fine. We're holding the levels from the BitMEX sell-off. Everything, we're okay with that. Volume had a nice little correction. Didn't really ruin anything. Everything looks fine. Still trying to hold these lows. Kind of looks a little triangular. Glad we had held and uh, withstood the BitMEX sell-off. Right back to 10.9, trying the highs. Volume is still supportive. No real issue. And we have. Uh, President Trump, coronavirus, again, that's what stopped us out a little bit, but we re-entered because, again, we thought we were headed higher. On Elliott Wave, it still looks like possibly that we have five waves up and an ABC pullback. That made us, again, a little more comfortable that uh, things would be okay here. But the stock market had a quick sell-off, obviously, then, with Bitcoin following the NASDAQ. Bitcoin... Uh, continue to scare everybody. If we go back to our daily chart that we showed before, you can see technometer is oversold again. The OP had went to another new low while price had held a higher low. So this again here at this 10-4 level, our Wyckoff indicators are telling us that things are still looking good. So there's five waves down and the C wave complete now. So we expected things to hold here and then continue to work higher. And you'll see here that is what happened. Volume, you can see on that last little sell-off, didn't go to new lows. Okay, maybe kind of told us the selling was over. So now we've had BitMEX hit us and we've had... Uh, Trump coronavirus hit us. Still not giving up. Still looks like our basis ideas of going above 11.2 could still be intact. Trade obviously is getting a little tired after having, uh, you know, $600 sell off off the highs. But we had our stops around 10.280 at this point. Now Bitcoin digging out of the hole, shaking off a ton of negative news, showing that it wants to go higher. Now you can see the pattern on the five-minute intraday. It really looks almost like a triangle, but possibly we just completed an E-wave of a triangle. You can see volume came down for the E-wave, almost took out the D-wave low. This being the E-wave low, this being the D-wave low. So... Still could expect a strong rally from here if that is a triangle that's ending. And you'd expect volume to come in sharply behind that. And you are going to see that. And a triangle in this position definitely works for Elliott Wave because we was expecting an ABC up. You can see that here. This shows the triangle that we was looking at in the green. The B wave triangle was just trying to end right here and then had to move up to 11.4, 11.5 for an X wave, which we had been calling for on YouTube, et cetera, and in our Discord. And you can see here that is what played out nicely. 
because now that if you took a, a C equals A of the triangle, I think that uh, had an upside objective around uh, 11,650, uh, I believe, which is what we end up catching. Now you can see the triangle is completed, and there we go. Now you can see volume come in. Volume now is starting to really get behind the move. Now we just go up, went to a new high above the previous high. Now we've caught the shorts. We've gotten everybody shooken out because of BitMEX and uh, President Trump. So now we can rally easily, especially if volume comes in as it just did. There we do a quick spring on a short-term chart. Wyckoff method, a lot of people buy spring, sell up to us. That spring worked perfectly. Here we are, 11.1 getting ready to take out the 11.2 high. Now at this point, we're calling for an 11.4, 11.5. We raise our stops. Because that 10.550 or so shouldn't give away. Really, 10.650 shouldn't give away. Boom. As we take out the 11.2 resistance, we go to 11.4, 11.5, which was our target. We did not sell that. We felt like that uh, with volume and everything behind it, that it looked like we probably needed some type of fourth wave here and then uh, another new high. That's when we start talking 11.6, 11.7. And you can see here, over the weekend, we continue to trade sideways in the fourth wave. Try to shake everybody out on our way to 11.6, 11.7. Then we're going to shake that off. There is a spring and an uptrend. Once again, shook everybody out, caught stops, and boom. We do the 11.5, do 11.580. We're still holding, looking for 11.650 to 11.7 to sell. You can see volume still behind the move. And then we do up and do the 11.7, where we gave our sell. Again, we gave that to Patreon. Patreon.com slash Learn Crypto. And then we did also give the sell to, uh, to actually our Twitter account. And that sell was backed up by our software, which gave us the oversold readings at the lows. Also went over bought at the highs. So that's why at 11.7, we're looking for the rally to uh, stop. Are you intrigued by cryptocurrency, but just aren't sure how you can get started investing? Maybe you are simply too busy to trade your own cryptocurrency account since it is 365 24-7. Don't hold back any longer. With LearnCrypto.io, you can have a seasoned professional show you how. Todd W. Butterfield is a leader in trading with numerous real money trading successes to his name over the years. He owns LearnCrypto.io, the original Wyckoff Stock Market Institute, WyckoffSMI.com, as well as the Black Bay Group, a registered investment advisor. He has also created state-of-the-art software, consolidating over 100-plus crypto exchanges volume, as well as his own Wyckoff proprietary indicators. With today's stressful and busy lifestyles, isn't it time you considered having a knowledgeable investor manage your crypto account? In these unprecedented times, it is the perfect season to seriously consider Learn Crypto IO's private client group and add cryptocurrencies to your investment portfolio.